today is the big, big appointment. We're gonna be getting some, um, several different answers, hopefully with all these tests we just performed that they know something other than you don't have this. Um, so let's hope that we found some answers with this round's test. Wish us luck. We're in the room, we're just waiting for him to come. I have no idea what we're gonna say. I'm very nervous that um, I think I'm gonna get answers and then not gonna get answers. I guess even if they don't find anything, I still have answers, but they're not like, they're different answers when you're in medical limbo. So let's hope that this, hope, let's hope this brings some knowledge for us. The lady just came in and I talked to her about a bunch of stuff that I forgot to mention last time we were here. Um, and that some stuff I did mention, but I don't think like got into the paperwork for some reason But either way, I am so fucking sweaty. I'm so nervous. I can't think straight I don't know what we're gonna like find out today and I just feel I feel so nervous like I'm we I really think that this is like We're finally starting to get some answers, but I'm just so nervous I don't want to like get my hopes up and then find out that yeah, you don't have any of this we, I don't I can't help you is what I'm really afraid that he's gonna tell me so Nervous 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 is is one of them supposed to hurt more than in another one Sometimes they do Sometimes they do because this one the one on the middle of my leg hurts the most Yeah, and then my hand and then my foot in the order of like How much it's being annoying? So this one here is the one that's hurting a lot and this one yeah, and then the one down there is barely just some are, some are sens more sensitive than others, but you actually have one more minute and it should stop. One more minute? It'll start beeping. Ready? Mm hmm Hmm. What's the blue stuff down there in the bottle for? The blue stuff? It looks like air freshener or salt, blue salt. Blue salt stuff? Yeah. That's part of, that's what we put into this. It's the blue, basically the, when the purple's all the way down, it means it's not usable anymore, but it's used for this test. Mm. What's it, so sweat. it changes color? Yeah, whenever it's dried out, it turns purple. It's That's called cool. dry right. That's cool. It's a laboratory gas drying unit. I had a Q sweat test today and like also did a, the rest of the V and G that I was supposed to do um, a few days ago, but the test wasn't working and then, um, the pharmacy didn't have my medication so we did that today so i'm probably just gonna add that in to this video probably or maybe i'll do it in like a video that's like a miscellaneous which a bunch of stuff that like i can't make a whole video out of it'll go somewhere but yeah we are on our way to go see the vampires um dr solomon wants some blood so we're gonna go do that before we go home but i'm gonna update you about everything we talked about later on um but I do have POTS, I do have MALS, I have thoracic outlet syndrome, and I also have EDS. But I'm going to go into all that later on. And, but until then, let's go take some blood. I just got home. I want to like just kind of process what I was told today. Because I was kind of expecting a lot of it. But not, not everything, I guess. I got diagnosed with some things that I didn't think I was going to have or... And one of them I didn't even know uh, existed. Um, and I don't really know. I just kind of... I feel strange. I'm happy in a way. But I'm, re and I'm relieved. And I just have a lot of... Um, a lot of feelings. That I just kind of want to process right now. I'm also very tired because it was a long test. I had a long cute sweat test today, I think is what it's called. And Lily is using the cat scratch. From the test and being in the office, he regurgitated everything to me. And a lot of it I don't remember, which really sucks. Um, I know what I'm diagnosed with. And he, wants, he wanted to do more blood work to check for some other things like lupus and something called Sarjogens. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to think about it. I thought that I would be more happy, I guess. I don't really know. I am happy, but like, I think it's more of just, um, 
very drained and I don't have the energy to show the relief that I feel. And, um, I don't really know. I just kind of feel off, I guess. I'm just really tired. I, like, I feel strange, I guess. That's, that's all I can really say. I'm going to get back to you when I have more energy more, and more spoons and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, so I've thought about it a little bit. I've kind of processed everything because um, one of the things I was not expecting it was I was not expecting um, Mediate Arcumet Ligament Syndrome, which is MALS, and I wasn't expecting the Thoracic Outlet Syndrome. I was expecting the POTS, and I was a little kind of like, I don't know if I have EDS, but if I have EDS, it won't be too much of a shocker because um, I have a lot of the symptoms of it, and it just kind of makes everything make sense for my childhood and everything. So I don't really know too much about some of the things that I was diagnosed with. I know the thoracic outlet syndrome is probably caused because of my frequent dislocations of my shoulders. Um, the normally thoracic outlet syndrome is done by damage, um, and it, uh, it's a comorbidity of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. I've thought about it for a few days now, and um, I'm relieved. Like I was so 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 relieved, and. Um, not really, I don't think happy is the right word. I think relieved is the better word for it because, you know, I was like, oh my god, if this is not it, then what the fuck is it? You know, kind of like in that area. Um, like, you don't want to be sick, you don't want to uh, have a chronic illness, but you need a name in order to go to the doctor and get the best treatment so that you can live your best life and, and be your best self. And I couldn't do that without a diagnosis. I needed, I needed a diagnosis so that they can help me because I was having so much pain and I'm still having so much pain and it was scary and there was a, like a time where I really like I don't know how I'm gonna survive this because it's like so fucking painful there obviously has to be something that is wrong that they don't know they can possibly kill me it's that painful and I found out that that medical condition is called immediate arcum ligament syndrome um, it was diagnosed with a um, ultrasound and we're going to confirm it with a CT scan but it's like He's like 99% sure that I do have malls, um, but I want to do a CT scan because with all the tests that we've done, this is the cheapest it'll ever be to do that CT scan because, um, you know, insurance starts over. And so I wanted to get that done and out in case we ever do need to go do the surgery. He does recommend not getting the surgery because with the EDS, surgeries are just not, they're just not a good idea. They're very hard on the person that has the, the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And um, <clears throat> I, we're hoping that if we can get control of my POTS, that that'll bring my pain levels down to a more manageable level. And um, so we're going that route first before we do a surgery where they have to like completely slit you down from like here all the way down to your stomach and take these claws and like rip you open to fix the, I think it's a, uh, some kind of celiac blood vessel. It's been so long. I don't know. I plan on making videos, which I've planned on making in a while, and I actually remember that I was making a rheumatoid arthritis video that has never been made because I found out some information about how RA can cause lung inflammation or something like that, I think it was. And then that brought me to a pain management doctor. And the pain management doctor actually got me to see Dr. Suleiman faster. Um, so everything kind of just tied into this and led me to this doctor a lot faster because I did find out about Dr. Suleiman online through a support group a long time ago and I had an appointment but they were able to move it up I believe it was I can't remember if I'm if they moved it up or if we stayed the same I don't totally know I just know that I ended up getting a referral which makes you look a little bit better besides self referrals because that's kind of what it was at the, at the beginning I can't breathe but I do have pots I have something called adrenal pots it's like a very severe form of it um, it's why I faint all the time I, I faint at least once a month so it's really bad even though I know when I'm gonna faint majority of the time I can catch myself but there are just times that I just can't sit down fast enough or like um there have been very many days where I stand up and the first thing I do in the morning is just faint and 
it makes you so 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 tired with all the pain you're in I'm sure if you have a chronic illness you get it um, and so he wants to send me to a geneticist right now I have a diagnosis of Ehlers Danlos syndrome but we need to find my type so in order to do that he's sending me to a geneticist and the geneticist is going to help me figure out the type um, because if I don't have a genetic marker then I have the, the hypermobile Ehlers Danlos syndrome um, and if we find a genetic type, then it'll be whatever subtype that is. Um, the main reason he wants me to do genetic testing is because they brought up some scarier subtypes, like the classical, classic, classical-like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and what's the other one? Vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and that's the most scariest one. Um, apparently, I have some facial features of, Ehler of the v VEDS. Um, we've had some people in my family that have died from aneurysms. Um, what else? We have some people that have hematomas during surgery. Um, there's a bunch of things that can point to vascular, which honestly does scare the living shit out of me. But if I have this, I've had this my whole life and I'm just finding out about it now, which kind of pisses me off. I, I think I would have liked to know that if I do have vascular a lot sooner. Um, but you know, you find out when you find out. So we're going to be starting that process and if you can, and like I'm very nervous but I'm mo more out of breath simply because of the malls. Found out that's why I'm, I'm out of breath a lot because it hurts to breathe. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to make sure I talk about everything I want to say. I still feel very shocked and um, I think that's my biggest thing. Um, because I've been, I haven't been diagnosed for so long and there are still things that he wants to test me for, you know, like I need to look into mast cell. Um, there's a bunch, I have a list of shit that I have to do, which I don't know if you've ever felt this way, but having a chronic, chronic illness is like having a job you're not paid for. A shitty job at that. Um, I have so many doctors to call. I have so many insurance people to talk to. Um, gotta talk to the gene people. Gotta email the genetic testing people still got like we did one blood work panel and then now we're going to do another one um there's a lot going on a lot going on he wants to do the gastroparesis test has not come back yet but i think it's going to be a false negative i don't really know what that's going to say because that test did not go well we've already started doing a second one and so we've um we're planning that and that's in April I believe it is I'm not too sure I don't know um, but I'll get that out to you when I can I'm gonna be posting the videos as close to the order that they happened in real life but once it gets so far I kind of forget the order a little bit and I do want to apologize about that um, I hate the fact that I can't post as often as I'd like because if I could I'd post every day I do like making videos it's just really hard work because you gotta watch the video and make sure you're not repeating yourself because when you have brain fog you can repeat yourself a lot and um, like everything kind of feels like deja vu because you've said it yourself and then you're like wait a minute did that repeat or am I just remembering it because I've watched this 17 million times kind of like that and then and then like I'm only up for like four to eight hours out of the day and most of that is tending to my body so you get it there's not very much time to edit um, so just bear with me. So back to the EDS, I don't remember exactly what I said, but um, we don't really have a type for me right now. We're probably thinking it, hopefully it'll be like HEDS. Part of me kind of wants to find a genetic link so that I can warn the side of the family that needs to be worried about it instead of saying, hey, to both of the family, there's a chance EDS runs in the side of the family or that side of the family. Um, we don't really know, and that's really kind of kind of really fucked up because both sides of the family can I can kind of see that it can come from either side of the family there's even a possibility that it possibly can come from both sides of the family and you know hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome doesn't have a genetic link yet doesn't mean they won't eventually you know and but that the, 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 the future link that they hopefully will find it doesn't help me now and doesn't help my family now um, and I feel like they should be informed when like babies and surgeries and all that stuff. So I wish I could go back and tell you which videos were positive and which videos were negative. 
Um, I can scroll through them, but this video might be too long as it is. Where's my phone? The malls one was definitely positive. The one where they were doing it right here, when they were sonogramming, that was positive because that was the thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, the first appointment where they did all the EDS testing, I was positive, but I wasn't told right away. I think he told me it was something else. Um, but then later on told me it's Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome based on all the test results that we got in. I can't remember what it was called though, it's really aggravating me. Okay, so the full day of test, that the celiac test in that video should have been a full video on its own, but I was so brain fogged when I was making that video that I didn't realize I had more videos for that celiac test. So I don't know if I'm gonna post those videos. I might like do a redo celiac video and just leave that B and G and SAR and celiac test video up, which is, where is it at? No, this is a gene. This video. Um, I think the transcranial Doppler was normal. The gastric antsing study, it's probably going to be a false negative because I didn't get anything in my stomach. Oh, SIBO was negative. That test was still shitty. Okay, so the thoracic outlet syndrome toss video, that one was positive. Um, the last one I did was carotid doppler I don't know how to say that my god <laughs> um I said it in the video I always look up how to spell it that one was negative I think oh the MST I'm like at a I think I'm at a 30 I'm like um but the MST my um what do you call it damn um I'm operating at 30% of what a normal person might, like a normal woman my age would be. So, you know, normally a healthy woman would be 100%. I'm 30%, so I'm really low. Um, so eventually if we can get my pain managed, he wants me to do um, EDS and POTS compatible, uh, my God, <laughs> um, what do you call it? My brain. Uh, exercising um, and if I could pick I would do it in the water yeah so about the chest update the chest update date update is I have costochondritis which I think I told you about that and then the MALS the media arcuate ligament syndrome so I'm gonna stand up a little bit if I can with my well I don't know my chair is in the way ouch me okay so my whole chest like the rib cage is all bruised that's the costochondritis um, here are my rib cages. The pain for the malls is like right into there. Okay, so that would be the malls pain. Um, and I wouldn't have found out about that if I hadn't gone to that um, pain management doctor. So um, I need to update all my doctors on the diagnosis I haven't done that yet. That's gonna be, <sighs> Biscuit! <laughs> So I'm just gonna update you later once we do the genetic testing. I'm going to have my mom, oh well I'm not gonna have my mom video it. I'm gonna video it. Um, I'm not gonna video my parents doing it because we're gonna get my parents both tested. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna update you as I'm able to get videos out to you. Um, stuff like that. So thank you for watching this video. Um, to go back over everything. Elder Stanlow Syndrome positive. Thoracic outlet syndrome positive, media arcuate ligament syndrome positive, and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is positive. And that is the adrenal type or something like that. It's a really bad form of it. Um, and he wants me to do, I think I have to do emergency fluids, so we gotta do that really quickly. That's another thing that's gonna be in the, a pain in my ass is I'm gonna be in the hospital, like outpatient, for several days, for several hours. I think once a week for however long he thinks I need to do that. That's going to be fun, but I'm going to take y'all with me. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I have a um, video about my um, hypogammaglobinemia stuff coming up. There's a lot to go over that. 
Um, it's gonna, I'm throwing it all together because it's been months and months and months worth of like tiny little bit of info and I decided I'm gonna put it in one video. So that's gonna come out to y'all whenever that gets ready. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. I'm editing this, blah, 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 I can't talk. I'm editing this video and I realized that I forgot to sign out. Ignore the wet hair. I just got out of the shower a little bit a little while ago, but my hair takes forever to dry. Anyway, don't forget that I love you. Thank you for staying alive. Remember, you know your body better than anybody else, so please listen to it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.